Okay, here we are back on the Ubuntu machine, the KUbuntu machine. Uh, this is our Linux server. In the past portion of the video, uh, we use a Windows 10 laptop to verify the configuration of our wireless router. Uh, our wireless router is connecting to our Linux server and uh, passing all the traffic to the through through it to go to the internet um, so what we are going to do in this last part of the series of videos is uh, do the Wireshark installation on the Linux server and Wireshark is going to allow us to uh, monitor the traffic that comes from a laptop passing through the wireless on its way to the internet so let's go ahead and uh, install Wireshark. I have uh, just recently installed it on this machine, so hopefully it's going to be a, a bit faster. But I'll show you the commands uh, uh, to follow. So sudo Good. It says there is the newest version already there, as we knew it. Uh, now the following two commands are so um, Wireshark is uh, normally would uh, just monitor traffic if the root user is logged in. Um, but what we are going to do is going we are going to allow the current user to also be able to uh, monitor traffic. So for that we are going to enter this command sudo the package reconfigure Okay, um, here it uh, explains that uh, this will allow non-super users to be able to capture packets as well. Uh, obviously this is a security risk, but uh, we are using our system only for testing and development purposes. Uh, this is not a big organization, so security is a minimum concern. By default, this is set to no, uh, but using the tab key you can toggle. So in our case, we're going to say yes to allow non-super users to be able to capture packets. That is done. And the next thing that we want to do is uh, to allow the current user to be a member of the Wireshark uh, group. So. We are going to enter sudo add user current user Wireshark. And because I did it a few minutes ago, uh, it tells me that uh, Victor is already a member of Wireshark. Very good. That uh, it's. Uh, finish with the installation of Wireshark and the configuration of Wireshark. Uh, so now we are ready to start uh, using it. If you go here to the panel, you can type, search for it. And there, you, there it is. So we launch it. Uh, if everything went well, you should have a list of uh, uh, 
network interfaces that shark that wire shark is able to monitor for instance we can monitor eth1 eth0 but uh, because we want to monitor our wireless router the wireless router is con uh, connected directly to eth eth0 so this is the one that we're going to select you can see that's the interface that you that we want to uh, monitor and we click here start to do the capturing of packets or the monitoring of traffic there you are it's the first lines now I'm uh, I have a uh, Android phone uh, connected to the wireless router so if I start uh, activating the Android phone we will see that there is a, a few lines of uh, traffic that is being captured and if I start opening my uh, Instance, uh, any browser. So we launch in a browser to uh, look for uh, Italian soccer results, and you will see a lot of uh, packets being monitored there. Um, as you can see, it's it's working. Uh, the purpose of these videos are not to uh, uh, give you a lot of <laughs> uh, insight on, on Wireshark. It was just the purpose of uh, setting it up so it can start capturing uh, traffic. Um, you can play around or probably in the future we will do uh, another video uh, more specific to Wireshark. Um, well, thank you very much. This has been uh, uh, quite a trip.